Well, let's get more now and speak to virologist Dr. Mohamed Munir, who is a lecturer in biomedicine at Lancaster University. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Doctor. The, uh, the race is on. Lots of vaccine trials underway. This particular trial is a joint effort by the U.S. federal government and the U.S. biotech company Moderna. Now, how do you rate their chances of coming up with the goods? Well, this is the first uh, phase three trial uh, in, in the United States, and it, it is recruiting 30,000 people, I think the, the, the largest in any vaccine trial in the living history. So certainly it's ambitious and it's based on the data that appear to be very good on the antibody induction and in the T-cell responses um, in the phase one and phase two trial on the safety. So there were some um, uh, uh, concerns on its um, uh, safety, but those are too, too little to be worried about. So all in all, it is based on a solid data. However, the real challenge is on the phase three trial where people would be able to see if they are immunized, whether they would be getting actual infection, the natural infection in the field. So certainly a lot need to be watched in coming months to really ensure that this is something to count on. Yeah, because of course there are lots of other trials around the world. We've talked about quite a lot of them in the last uh, few weeks. Which of them do you think sounds the most promising to you? Would you put your money uh, on this US uh, trial or, or one of the other ones? Well, the, the, the real question really is that uh, which technology is proven technology. So out of if we look onto all the front runners, uh, none of the technology has any uh, proven track record. For example, mRNA based vaccine, for example, Moderna and similar uh, uh, and biotech. So these have uh, been around for last 20 years. None of the vaccine uh, currently being employed in the field is based on these technologies. And then we have adenoviruses. Those uh, candidate vaccines have been used for different trials, but none of them has reached to the marketing level or to the regulatory approval level. So um, there, there are certain um, uh, factors that we can count positively on each of this technology, but, but each of them have its own downside. So until we don't have a real conclusive data onto phase three randomized trial, it is really hard to say which one will take the lead. OK, so we, this makes my next question a bit, a bit more tricky because, I mean, I really want to ask you about the time frame we're looking at here. And of course, with all this uncertainty surrounding all these different trials, very difficult to say. But when do you think is the earliest by which we could perhaps expect a safe and effective vaccine to start being distributed on, on a mass scale? Yes, this is a very uh, important question and should be asked in every interview when we talk about the vaccines, uh, about the timelines. But let me clarify that this timeline, no one can predict. It depends on two important factors. The first factor is that until we see 150 people, those are immunized with the vaccines and then have the chances to catch the virus infection, we will not be able to certainly say that this vaccine is effective. And this number, 150, can be achieved in three months and can be achieved in six months, depending on the infection load in that country. So, for example, if we talk about Moderna, it is being trialed at 89 different sites of NHS in the, um, in the U.S. where the infection is really high. So the chances to get 150 people tested for the efficacy would be uh, really in a very short time. So therefore, it could be completed in three months. It could be completed in six months. So all in all, my anticipation based on all the phase three trial, those are started or about to start, is that the data would become available in November, December. And that would be the time when the regulator have to sit on to assess whether these are good enough to roll out. And then the realistic time for us to look on to a vaccine to come into the market is really the Easter time.